What is up, bass fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. Welcome back to an all new episode. And today we are going to do a reel review. It's been a long time since I've done a review. And I got this reel right here. This is the Runkle Titan II spinning reel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this up right now. Um, so just before I do though, just a little backstory. Runkle is a company um, that you can only get their stuff on their website and on Amazon. Either way is a great way to buy. If you have Amazon Prime, two day shipping, everything they make is on Amazon, so, which is a really good way to get your name out there. You know, that's how like Cast King started, PC Fun started, um, and now, you know, look at Cast King, they've exploded. They're on Tackle Warehouse and everything. So it's kind of a stepping stone for a company. And today we're going to review one of their reels. This is their newest um, and top end spinning reel called the Titan II. So this reel that we're going to be reviewing today, this is the 2000 series. This is the smaller one. And um, they make it all the way up to a 6000 series. So if you like those big reels, if you're chasing, you know, big catfish, saltwater, whatever, they make a 6000 series reel. It's a freaking donk of a reel. Personally, I don't really need a reel that big, so the 2000 is perfect for me. Um, I got it paired up today on a, um, a Ducket Micro Magic, uh, seven foot medium heavy, and I've got 10 pound Cast King Braid on there, and uh, eight pound Seaguar Red Label Leader. Um, right here I got my Kalins, eighth ounce, uh, weighted wacky worm head, and a black and blue drastic plastic stick worm. So that's pretty much what we're going to do today. When I do reel reviews, I don't like to just sit and talk about them. I like to get out and fish with them, show you how well they hold up on the water. Um, that's what I look for when I'm looking for reel reviews. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to give you a few of the boring stuff here real quick first. So you open up the box to this runkle. Some reel snot in there. I must have stuck that in there. Anyways, it comes with this little bag. You know, if you're a guy that takes your reel off, you know, travels with it separate, awesome little drawstring bag for you you know do whatever you want with it but anyways that's the runkle box anyways the boring stuff um, this reel is a full metal body which is awesome and uh, I know you can't see it right here maybe I'll throw a picture up but it is a drag ready spool it's got that you know that uh, scuffy whatever there so you don't have to put electrical tape or use mono or fluorocarbon for backing so your braid doesn't slip so it's set up like that um, this is a 5.3 to 1 gear ratio. Um, super smooth drag on it. I'm really impressed. I've been using this reel a lot in the last three weeks. Um, if you've watched my last videos, I was up north on a deep lake. We were catching big smallmouth. And this thing really, really impressed me. You know, where you want to have all that drag for your smallmouth. And it was super smooth. And I really, really like it. And one big thing for me is this the comfort um, and the design of the reel. And this is this fits perfect in my hand. I really like it. Um, Evo foam handle. It's just a, a really comfortable reel and it, you can tell it's actually built really well and I really like that. And also if you watch my videos you know I don't use a spinning setup a whole lot when I'm bass fishing anyways. But uh, I'm probably going to use it a lot more now with this because this is a really good setup and by the way it just on this ducket rod it just looks sexy. It just the whole thing it just works. So yeah, come cold water though, when I'm walleye fishing, perch fishing, you're going to see me use this a lot. Um, this winter, it's going to get some use. So anyways, let's uh, let's get the power poles up and let's go beat some banks, see if we can catch some fish. So I'm going to be starting with the wacky worm. You're probably going to see maybe a Ned Rig come out, um, shaky worm, and possibly maybe a crankbait. Um, so we're going to do it all with this reel today and see how well we like it. So let's get at her. Schlange hunting starts. Right now. All right, super freaking hot out today. Not much wind moving. Got some green scum on the on the water today. We got about a foot visibility. So black and blue it is. I'm gonna dig through my box. I got. Hopefully got some black sinkles left. I've done really good on just solid black. Stick worms on this lake. Especially on them days where the bite's really tough. Completely black. 
wacky worm has really got some got some fishing bolt for me. All right, well, since I struck out with the wacky worm, stupid, two bites, and I fell through. Try something different. So I come down here to the dam, this big long rock bank here, where I've caught millions of bass. I'm gonna toss around this shaky worm. This little shaky head with a little baby finesse, straight tail worm. I believe this one's by Strike King. Sorry, Scott. See if we can get her done with a little shaky worm. I wanted black and blue, and I know I got a couple packs of them, but apparently they're in the tackle room. All I got in these ones are red bug, moon juice, and sexy shad, which is a pretty cool color too. I might try that. It's a smallmouth killer. I do got some black ones made by fish hog. They're a little bigger. I might try them too. Because I've done really good on a black worm here. But I really like this. This Strike King Perfect Plastics worm. It floats up really good. And that little shell tail worm, that little shell tail really, really kicks nice. There we go. Luke can keep mine. Have no fear, the dam will produce when the bite is tough. There we go. Nice large mouth. Not a giant by any means, but two pounder. He ate that sucker good, but it was just about out of him. Yeah, right there. All right. Thanks, little buddy. I'm not much of a net man, but spinning rod and eight pound test. You're just uh, better off to net them. All right. Well, that felt good. Wasted an hour, at least an hour, beating them banks with a wacky worm. I am dripping again. Sweat. That breeze left. Sun is hot on my back. All right, well, I was stuck in the rocks. <laughs> oh man, what a battle that was. 
So here I was snagged up and I shut my camera off because I was mad because I've lost three shaky worms already, hooks and all. Lost my leader on this chunk rock because it's so snaggy. And I just come in and finally got it off the rock and apparently there's a fish on it. So I don't know if he was on there before or if he grabbed it while it was stuck, but anyways, a little bass. <laughs> Bazinga. All right, I'm gonna come back into my sweet spot. I'm gonna hit them with a little different color. So I switched up from the red bug to a moon juice. See if that'll get one. She only liked me for my moon juice. My moon juice. That's a wrap folks. It is a tough day of fishing out here. Sorry I didn't catch more fish for this video, but it is what it is. But the bite is gonna pick up real soon, I guarantee it. And uh, we're gonna have some fun fishing this fall with some of these new products from Runkle. But uh, yeah, so today we reviewed the Runkle Titan 2 spinning reel, 2000 series. And uh, I am very impressed with it. Like I said, very, very dependable reel in my opinion for the couple weeks I've used it um, it's held up very well and uh, it just feels so right and that 2000 size if you're looking for one reel that you can do anything you want with I would get that 2000 size it is perfect for bass fishing for anything you do a spinning reel with like anything from drop shotting to any of the finesse stuff that you see me do today um, you also use it for if you if you use a spinning rod for other stuff you know for flipping for buzz baits frogs anything Whatever you want to do with it, it's there and it'll do that. And it's also small enough, it'd be a great pan fishing reel. And I'm going to use it this year, next year probably for perch, um, crappie, that stuff. Maybe this fall for crappie, I'll use it too. Um, and walleye, it's perfect size for walleye fishing. That's probably what you're going to see me do a lot with it is uh, walleye fish with it. So yeah, super impressed. If you're in the market for a reel and you want to try one of these, Titan 2 spinning reels, I will put a link down in the description below and use the code TITAN15, I'll put the code down there too, TITAN15, save 15%, and if you buy it from the link, you're actually helping me out too, and helping me get more products to test and show you guys and review, and I love that, so thank you very much. If you have not yet subscribed to Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors, go ahead and do that right now, hit the bell so you get notified every time we put out a new video. Clobber that thumbs up button, Luke Reeser signing off. Always remember, you are never too fat to fish.